Hello, hello. Mm Thank you. <laughs> um, great. Audio, amazing. So yes, we will be playing with some P5.js. Like I said, super, um, super fun, very beginner friendly. Um, you don't need anything except for a web browser. If you would like, um, go ahead and go to editor.p5.js.org. I will drop that link in chat. There we go. And I'll give everyone a chance to get set up. Then we'll go ahead and get started. Recommendations, if you are working on this editor in your browser, um, be sure to log in. Uh, you can log in with any email or GitHub just in case if you're like me and you accidentally reload the page, um, you don't want all your lovely code to disappear. Um, default on editor p5.js is these three files. We will be adding some to them um, and we will be creating some snowflakes today. 
if, you, if y'all didn't know my hint from earlier, something that melts on your tongue is a snowflake. Uh, if it snows where you are, it snows where I am. Not 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 now, not today, but hopefully soon um, when it snows. Um, a lot of people in <laughs> where we are like to stick their tongue out and let the snowflakes fall on their tongue and then they fall on their tongue. Um, but yeah, we will be creating some fun little uh, snowflakes using the draw function and P5 and it will be uh, super fun, super easy and you could play around with it, add whatever you like. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you'll see first three files that are automatically loaded into uh, the editor are your index HTML file, sketch.js, and then a style sheet. Uh, we'll be adding a file. So if you go ahead to sketch files over here and click create file, we could create a new file. And we're going to create a file called snowflake.js. And this is going to hold our class for Snowflake. We're going to go with um, object oriented um, this time around. And we're going to create a class for Snowflake. So our file has to be. Um, named after a class, and we're going to go ahead and define that. Awesome. My mistake. Okay, awesome. Now I just have a class, we don't have anything yet. If you go ahead and play this, as you see, you'll have your little canvas. Um, this canvas is a 400 by 400. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do window width by uh, window height. Oopsie, oopsie. And ta-da, just increase the size, lovely. And then for the background, I want this to be like a nice night wintry sky. So I'm going to, um, I'm thinking like a dark blue, a black background. Hmm, thinking. Any suggestions? What color should we make our background, our night sky or morning sky? I like... I like uh, a night sky. I think I'm gonna go for a nice class round. I'm gonna set my color as black, and then I'm going to add my little variable in here. Alternatively, you don't have to do this. You could just do zero, and it will give you the same effect. And if you wanna do a different color, let's say white, just change the number. This is These are RGB numbers, but I like to use a little variable. Awesome. So now I have my background. Um, I have my little canvas size. And now we need the snow. Okay, so let's go back to our um, our class, our snowflake class. Um, and we are going to need a constructor because we want to give our snowflake um, uh, attributes. We want to define what a snowflake is. So we have our class. Let's add a constructor. I'm just going to name a constructor easy peasy. And I think for the snowflake, for now, we're going to focus on um, the position of the snowflake. We want to give this position, uh, this snowflake, um, some coordinates, and um, and then we want to render it. So let's this in our constructor. Let me just add a new line in our constructor. Let's give this um, a position. So uh, we're gonna do. 
a vector object because vectors are nice and lovely and give us coordinates. And then we're going to give our snowflake some velocity so that they could fall um, and some acceleration so we can mimic wind <laughs> and natural movement, make some go faster, make some go slower. Um, and we'll, we'll add some to this, but for now, let's get these vectors in here. And then we are going to, uh, let's render our snowflakes. So um, let's see, we're gonna make them white, classic. And then the weight, let's give it, hmm, say maybe five pixels. That way we can see it. And then, of course, we have to draw it. And we're going to draw a point for now because what says snowflakes more than a point? Amazing. Oh, nothing's here. Oh, right, because we didn't give it any values. So let's define our X and Y. So we're going to let's set an X and Y first. So let's see. Let's do. Hmm. Yes, uh, top left is zero, zero. So um, if we do, I believe four PS5 is also zero, zero. So let's do um, X equals, um, let's see. I'd like to do, I know I want to give them a random value, but for now I'm going to do 100. And then for Y, we'll also do, we'll do 100 just to see what it looks like. And then let's run these variables into our position so that it knows where to go. Amazing. Right here. You know what we do? And so it's near the top. And maybe we'll see it. I believe it's a 400 window, so 300. Somewhere this dot should be, you know, say. Okay, fine. We'll let it, we'll let it figure it out itself. And then, and then we'll do Y and height. Window. Okay. Cool. Oh, I know why we can't see it. I didn't sketch it. <laughs> uh, we created it and we didn't sketch it. So we have no idea. Okay. Um, we'll just leave it at random, but you could give it a, a, a value if you like. But we need to add it to our sketch first. Uh, okay. So um, we created a class for snowflakes and we rendered it. So let's add some snowflakes to our snowflakes. Let's add um, some flakes. Okay, so we have our set up our canvas. We're gonna draw and um, we are going to create an array. So let's snow equals an empty array. Awesome. And now we can do a lovely little call to our class and we're going to push our new snowflake object beautiful and we're, we want more than one so we're going to do a four each in array so we're going to do four flake of snow not in of and we are going to render it so i'm just going to call it flake dot render All our function from here. Um, okay, awesome. Let's see what that looks like. Oop. Uh oh, I know exactly why. Okay. <laughs> I just love when you get all your perfect um, error messages. Okay, so 
it's telling me, as you can see here, um, Snowflake is not defined in the current scope because I didn't call it in my HTML file. I only have my sketch file. So um, if I want to call my Snowflake, I'm sorry, my Snowflake class in Sketch, it has to come out before it. So let's add that here. Prop. All right. Yay, look at all those snowflakes. Except that's not how snow falls. Imagine snow just showed up randomly like this. Um, very cool. Nice little dots, but not what we want. So what we need is to give our little points motion. <laughs> yeah, it does look pretty, right? Um, but we want them to fall because snowflakes fall. So um, we already added our velocity and acceleration, but we didn't give them any value. So they are not used, they're not called, they're just there. So let's give them some values. Let's give them some motion. Um, I think the first thing I'm gonna try and do is just get them to fall. So um, right here in my sketch file, let's see. I want to, I think I want to add some velocity to this snowflake. Um, but in order to do that, I need to constantly update my frame so that it knows that it's falling. So we have to change the position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an update function that we will call in Sketch. And in this one, I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm going to take my velocity and add it to my acceleration. Um, and I think I'm gonna give my, I'm gonna test the velocity. Let's see. Let's say two. <laughs> and then for Y, right now we have it for random. So it shows up anywhere on the screen for the height of our window, but I want it to start up here because snow falls from the top. So we're gonna give this a range. So we're gonna let it do um, anywhere between, I'm gonna say negative 50 and maybe negative 10. Let's see what that looks like. Lovely, nothing's happening. Um, oh, same thing. We didn't call it. Okay, so let's make sure that we call our function so that we know we want our snowflakes to update. Lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> That's all right. Um, we are still missing some numbers. So let's say this position is x, y. Velocity is, mm, let's give it a faster velocity. And then our acceleration is still zero. So we're just adding zero. So not helpful, but that's all right because we're going to change our acceleration. Um, okay. Ah, let me change this to 100 so we can see it. Nope. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Structure update. Add this acceleration. My night, my blink, night sky. Okay, then let's troubleshoot. Now I added my velocity of zero five because I don't want my x to move. I just want my five to move. And then acceleration is zero, but we're just going to add our velocity to our acceleration, which is fine. Mm -hmm. 
Where are my snowflakes? Constructor. Okay. Let's see, what was the last thing we changed? All right, let's change the height back. Ah, so it was my Y. Okay, why? Why are you not allowing me to do a random number? Is my syntax wrong? Negative 100. Let's see. So fun. Then let's add this. Ow, oh, you know why? Because we're supposed to add velocity first to our position. We're not changing our position. So let's update our position with our velocity first. Yay, our snow is falling. Okay, awesome. Um, our snow is falling. Um, it's falling, but it's also generating in the middle. <laughs> so this is when we can go back and change our height for this range. Um, it was a pretty solid range. We could do zero, but I'm just going to do 10. Um, yay. Okay, so now it starts up here, and it falls. Pretty, pretty uh, kind of... <laughs> uniform falling not super not super wintry yet so oh, yeah here just the heads up we are using editor p5js.org um, so yes yeah, so now we have our snow falling now we could give it some acceleration so that they could um move at a different pace so this is when we add our velocity to oopsies. awesome still still no value there but we'll change that okay cool now that our snow is falling um i'm going to do my next step before i make them is i'm going to change the different sizes of our snowflakes. So right now we have our stroke weight as five, but I think I'm going to give it also a range. Excuse me. So this I'm just gonna say um, S for size, and I'm going to say a random number between mm, two and Eight. And then I'm going to take this, I'm going to call it back here, so do this like this. Wow, look at all the variation in our lovely little snowflakes. They are still moving as a unit. That's okay, because look at all the different sizes. It's looking real promising. Okay, now, we added acceleration. I'm sorry, we added um, the velocity to the position and we wanted to add acceleration to the velocity. So I'm actually gonna add that first because I'm going to give um, my snowflakes gravity um, and I'm going to give it some force and we're gonna mess with the acceleration a little bit. 
to get that all set up. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually divide, define my gravity in sketch. Is it, I want it to be global. So I'm just going to define that. And then what I'd like to do is in our setup, I'm going to define my gravity as another vector so we can give it some lovely xy coordinates. Now you can give it z coordinates if you so choose to make it 3d um, but just for now we're going to do a nice 2d background hello for anyone joining now we're just creating some snowflakes using uh p5js uh, super beginner friendly if you'd like to edit along you could open up your browser go to edit editor.p5js.org um, and follow along. I will be dropping the link to the tutorial that I followed um, in our Discord after so that you can take this challenge further. This is only the beginning. Um, very simple. Yeah, welcome. Awesome. So now, uh, creating my gravity. So um, for the vector, I again, I don't want my X to move for now. You can make your snowflakes. Um, but gravity is why so i'm going to give gravity let's see i don't want it to be super fast i want it to actually be very slow so i'm gonna go less than one and i'm gonna do two no let's two. let's try two okay so i i set my gravity i created a vector for it now, um, let it, let's apply it. Let's use our gravity somewhere. So usually, um, you could use this and multiply it by your um, acceleration and your velocity and get a nice theme there. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create force. So to do that, I'm going to create a new function. And I am going to call it apply force. <laughs> and the for force, we're going to, we're going to define force, but for force, um, this parameter, this parameter that doesn't exist yet, um, we're just going to return the acceleration adding the force. And then And um, we'll apply gravity as that force in our sketch. So right now, this is our gravity. That's our gravity. Um, and before we update it, we're going to apply force to our snowflake by passing in gravity. And then what happens is when we take this gravity vector, we pass it in, um, and we're actually adding that to the acceleration. So now we are adding the force, which is gravity, to the acceleration. And then we're taking that and we're adding it to the velocity. And then we're updating our position. And then for the very last thing, um, not the very last thing, but we're going to multiply the force so that it, um, I'm sorry, we're going to multiply the acceleration so that every frame it updates. So it's not static. We're going to do dot mult. What this does is it resets our acceleration to zero every time so that it's a new number every time. Oh. Apple force. <laughs> Apply force. Amazing. So as you can see, it kind of stretches a little bit. And if we change it, we could play around with the numbers. They can go faster and slower. Cool. Let me do a seven. And then it just goes real fast. Amazing. Look at all that snow falling. Hello, hello. We're making snowfall. Amazing. Now, 
like, oh, I love the snow. Let's mess around with this a little bit. So, hmm, I think I do want to change my X position. So uh, let's apply, hmm, how do we want to mess with it? I think I'm going to hmm, what if I mess with gravity? Give it this. Oh, there we go. We're swaying a little bit. Let's increase it. Let's do the point the whole point three. Oh no, it's a blizzard. <laughs> Oh no, the snow is flying off the screen. If you come to the East Coast in the US, you might experience a winter like this, where the snow just goes sideways. I think I'll do a... I want to maybe just give it a... Cool. Now we have a pretty little snowflake. Hmm, I guess we should change the direction. Mm, let's see, I will give this Actually, we should get that. Um, that was fun. No. Uh, hmm. Yep. Uh, this is. Are you talking about the video? Or are you talking about Twitch? We're on um, Twitch. TV. MLH. I mean, slash MLH. Or you could get to this editor, and we are adding the snowflakes. We're generating them ourselves. Oh, yes, it's rich. Um, amazing. I want to add some wind. But let's see. I think I will add this to mm. no. Thank you. 
a little late but some background music <laughs> while i mess around with the wind Okay, okay, let's, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, one. Okay, not so bad. Oh, oh. oh that's good. It only really give me one, maybe one zero or one, but it's still fun. <laughs> I have to buy up. Where's it going? Oh, no.
Yeah, I want to make them cool at the end. You have the right idea. They're stretching a little bit. Where is, where is the snow going? Yeah, we should end them. I would like them... Mm, yeah, let's, let's mess with velocity first. Good idea. Magnitude, so can be accessed via methods, vector mag for heading. Like this magnitude, which means. It is mass. It is mass. Oh, we continue. And I think our limit should be kind of five. So whatever this position is. Just like <laughs> kind of like, but okay, let's add this. Okay, even velocity is acceleration. Let's go. Okay, oh, and then let's. And we'll do the size.
Oh my god. You scared me for a second. I thought it wasn't coming. <laughs> it's so slow. Um it's it'll fall eventually, I'm sure, I'm sure. Pretty nice look. Gravity is making it go this way, so I'm gonna get rid of the X gravity. Maybe I'll read the little bit. Almost there. A little bit slower. Kind of nice, kind of slow. I want it to be a little bit faster. I'm gonna get the base around. I like it. It feels a little pretty, like they're falling at different speeds, which is awesome. I'll give it some wind. So uh, let's add a few winds and we'll get that random. Mm. I don't know if I could do the numbers that are half. Iteration. Boo. I'm gonna get divided. Let's try that. So we'll do that, I guess. Then five, five, five. I didn't call that anywhere, but yeah, yeah some snow falling. Well, hey, Way, thank you. Ooh, I am hoping to add this. Well, and I remove the background, make it transparent. Maybe add it to my um, Emily Cher uh, cartoon, so I can have a winter themed cartoon. Thank you. Just a reminder. If 
I gave it some wind and I want to add the wind as like an angle. Um, hmm. Where do I want to add this? Do I want to change? I want to change X. Probably not. So let's do it. Oops. I guess it would have to be velocity if I want to see it move.
Let's try it. Whip. change the colors I don't want to be so blue. Okay. So I think if you define it before, that's when you could set the strokes. So I wonder if you could do I don't know the colors for colors. Color. Oh, we can do that. That's not even better. Ooh, we'll do MLH colors.
I had a feeling, but it's so cool. Some snow that defies gravity, but it's not cool. And we'll do one more because it's three colors. It kind of looks like a lava lamp, you know? It goes up before it goes down. Oh, I can see there is a chip.
upload our image. Problem. It just like flash. Oh, right, right. This is this is this is preload. Ah, uh, it's probably getting covered by my back. Oh no! <laughs> not happy. Not a happy. Not a happy thing to. Okay, let's go back to. You. This frog. Um, I got it, but we'll try it anyways. Close. Okay, but then we gotta change the position. Yes, Probably because I did window height. So I'll just guesstimate again. That was the. Yeah. So that's what I mean. All right. Like. Okay. Hello, Dead Nuggy. We're just creating snow in a P5 editor. Oh, 
Um, I'm gonna do... Okay, I'm just gonna do <laughs> with the one that I have and then change my width and height. Good night. It's 4 p 4 p.m. here for almost 4 30. <laughs> Which means I should be logging off too. Okay, one more little change. And then I'll let it be. Ah, that's pretty centered. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> a nice little snowing on MLH uh, image, even though the snow is behind MLH. We could, we could change that real quick, I think. Let's see. Ads. Yay, there we go. p.m. There is a there is another session right after this with Alberto and he will be doing image processing. So that is probably what you're thinking about. Um, but yeah, we were just playing around with a P5 JavaScript um, in a web browser editor. So uh, everything is um, online. There's nothing offline. You can create these um, files offline and uh, just host an HTTP server like Node.js or something. And you can run this on your local host and your browser um, if you would like. Um, but this editor is really easy to use. Um, I did log in so that I could save my code. Make sure if you are using this website to log in so that you could save your code. Um, share your little snowflake images in the Discord. <laughs> I'll drop this one here. I'll play it again so it's not as snowy. Yes, I'll drop the code um, in the Discord as well as the full tutorial. It goes way more in depth than what I started with. If you'd like to see what I was working off of, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'll share all of that in the Discord as well as some other fun little winter themed challenges if you'd like to play around with some things like that. But yeah, drop your little edits in uh, the Discord lounge. I'd like to see what y'all have come up with <laughs> that's all for me for today i will be logging off it was great seeing y'all yes i'll share the code thanks away for your question um but yeah stay tuned um coming up next will be alberto with image processing uh, part one so that'll be really fun and super informative so stick around for that but my name is joanna and this was my little chill lo-fi code with me very beginner friendly um i'll leave this up for a little bit and let's see while i'm here let me figure out how to export this as a gif mm Amazing. So, if you'd like, you could also save your little drawing as a gif. Cool. Thanks for joining, y'all. Till next time.